It was worth it. My money was well spent. Last night's Heritage opening was epic. Those were just some of the comments being made by several patrons at the Tobago Heritage Festival's opening. However, there were critics who believed that the show did not depict the real Tobago heritage. Nonetheless, the show was unlike any other, and we have all the details about what went down last night at the Dwight York Stadium in this report. With a budget of approximately $11.5 million, was it well spent? Well, from the looks of things last night, it may have seemed so. The Tobago Heritage Festival opening night was on a whole new level last night, with hundreds of people participating in the production that had a piece of what all villages had to offer. From the huge stage, the intricate lighting, the extravagant costume, the exciting dramology, the graceful dancing, and the fireworks. An approximate two-hour production coordinated by cultural officer and dance tutor Elvis Rajman and award-winning mass designer and event producer Brian McFarlane. The show could have been described as extraordinary. In her address, Secretary for Community Development and Culture Tracy Davidson Celestin pledged to continue to give her total support to Tobago's development. And I look forward to seeing all the communities garner the skills, the talents, and the services within their areas as together you create a product that is sustainable and financially beneficial to all the people in their locales. She congratulated all those who gave of their time and efforts to create what she described as a unique showpiece. I extend best wishes and congratulations to the hundreds who have come together to create this unique showpiece, showcasing snippets of the events that has made us proud as a people, proud of our heritage, and I look forward to even greater achievements from the cultural fraternity. And I want us to pay special tribute to Dr. J.D. Elder and Mrs. Stanley Baird, the men who had the vision and the men who made this possible. I want us to remember people like Imelda Crookshank, the late, the late Adolphus Boyo James and his brother Henry James, Samuel Patterson of Mariah Wedding Fame, drummer Roy Samuel, and all those stalwarts of the past who, in a real sense, educated, entertained, and enthralled us over the years. He said, however, that the show isn't just about entertainment. That the Heritage Festival is not just about entertainment or even mainly about entertainment. The Heritage Festival is about the appreciation of and the pride in the resilience of our ancestors and the richness of our heritage. The Tobago Heritage Festival is a reminder that our ancestors survived, endured, and finally triumphed over every adversity. And therefore, it must be an inspiration to us so that as we are entertained and sensitized and educated, let us as Tobagonians be inspired and strengthened by the examples from our past. The show was sponsored by Blink B Mobile and also depicted Tobago's very own coral reef, which is located in the Bucu Sea waters. Patricia Nicholson, Channel 5 News.